Well, I mean, uh, with, with, with regards to elementary school, uh, being just significantly younger than Joanne, I got to live through the, uh, you know, the October crisis in 1970. I mean, I remember going to kindergarten in St. Foy here uh, with, with soldiers on the sidewalk. And, I remember that. Incredibly. You know, I remember that quite clearly, and that, that marked me for a long time, you yeah. know, and, and then the whole, the whole 1970s, you know, the election of the Pacific yeah. Quay in 76, and I have, I have vivid memories of, of uh, you know, uh, hatred really uh, between French-speaking students who were my friends, but not friends necessarily with people that were going to that school and the teachers talking about, and that whole that whole thing, and and that and within the greater context of the Cold War, you know, I, mean, I remember practicing, you know, you know, hiding under desks, as a, you know, because a nuclear bomb was going to fall on our head, you know, and this kind of guy. That was the '70s, you know, the '70s weren't much fun really. They weren't. It wasn't much fun to be an Anglophone, or at least identified as an Anglophone. You live in St. Foy, and the only time you go in, uh, close to Quebec City was to watch the carnival parade exactly. in front of the old <laughs> yeah. uh, prison for uh, for women, you know, uh, Maison Gamay. And you, we didn't have the money to go out in yeah. the restaurant or whatever. Like no, uh, no, no. today, things have changed. You know, back in the seventies, I don't know how many people went out in old old Quebec. To, you know, uh, and then uh, then as we got older, if you were, were going out, we'd go out to bars and pubs that were in St. Foy. You know, at least speaking for myself, you know, had a, the Volksbrauhaus Bra House or the Hope here, you know, uh, or the early uh, vestiges of the Bogart. You know, we never went to Quebec City. We never, we never went there. Even today, I don't go that much. So we really were suburbia. But Joanne is right. I mean, we grew up in a sort of, people forget that probably 50, 60 years ago, uh, St. Foy was a field, you know. Boulevard Laurier was the only road, and there was the Shamrock to go dancing in the 40s, uh, which is I now the Megdo. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we moved, and it was uh, just. Even when I was, I came in 1970, that, that was 20 years after you, you know, after mm -hmm. mom and dad bought the, the property. It was still a, pr a relatively young de development, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And and another funny thing is, I remember the the, 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 the presence of military personnel, because a lot of people after the Second World War, you know, you had all the houses here, yeah. and, and, and the should of people who don't even know the history, the should the was, op was opened as a veterans hospital after the Second World War. So we grew up with that presence of, of uh, English-speaking people, of people that had been to Europe in the, in, in, in the Second World War. I went to school with people, and that, that I was mentioned that earlier, like Valcarce was, a, we knew where Valcarce was. We had knew, well, most of my friends came from there. Then that people from uh, uh, Montcalm, or that was St. Pat's. The St. Pat's yeah, was the, the inner Saint city Pats. people, you know? <laughs> but we had people that, you know, you, you could hear English uh, occasionally in the, in the early 70s. You know, not on our street, but in our neighborhood. You know, the the Christies lived up there, and the the Heckmans, and, and the summer, yeah, growing up, and the Shays. Uh, during the whole, yeah, every time I went to school, it was in English, and uh, outside of school it was in French, always, because yeah. <coughs> you went outside, your friends were not. You played with your neighborhood friends. You played with the kid next door across the street, the street behind you. Everything you did uh, in your leisure activities, when you went to day camp or anything like that, was always with French people. So you just switch back and forth. <clears throat> that's just me, and that's why, in a lot of ways, I think you don't notice Anglophones sometimes <clears throat> because they speak French. 